What's going on ladies and gentlemen, we're back once again, and if you guys could go ahead and leave a big fat like on this video, I'd gladly appreciate it, and your thoughts about the video in the comments down below in the subject. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about some more Resident Evil. So if you guys are already aware, if you guys have already seen the trailer, then you obviously know there's a lot going on within the Resident Evil world as right now, with Ethan Winters re re reprising the role as well as Chris Redfield reprising his role, and then we see Mia as well. So there is a lot of complicated history about these two characters that is going to be diverse in the further installment of Resident Evil. Now, I want to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts on this. Uh, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. What do you think that the history is? What do you think is going on? Um, do you think that uh, what kind of monsters we're going to be seeing? Because, again, we're possibly going to be seeing because uh, where possible werewolves, witches, vampires, zombies, the virus. Uh, there's so much in this that is really going in crazy. Now, there's been a lot of theories going right now that there will be vampires in this uh, game. Now, what gets me is you'll be looking at your screen now. You will be seeing the two or the three to four um, characters that are, that are uh, ladies about looking like in the 1800s type of clothing. And you see the main one, she's sucking on Ethan's hand. Now, we don't know if this is uh, his original hand that was sewn on back together by Zoe, obviously, or it could be a prosthetic. Uh, we don't know necessarily of what has happened to his hand or if he's going to lose that particular hand once again. Uh, because if you look closely, which I've been looking at in different videos about these theories, as well as also the trailer once again, that it does not look like that it is lipstick or any kind of makeup that looks like actual blood um, where they could be possibly cannibalistic uh, type of either human beings or creatures that desire human blood and once again it's also been suggested by the inventory uh, that this is going to be taking place in Transylvania. Now, what is Transylvania mainly known for? Obviously, vampires with Dracula associated with him, the castle, <clears throat> and with the and with the possible landscape that we are seeing in the background, which is gorgeous, by the way, it is just the landscape is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you get to see, of course, with the beast man. You get to see with them attacking farmers. You can see attacking Ethan, as well as also other weird things going on within the trailer as well, and also with this witch. So we don't know necessarily uh, from everything we've been hearing that the witch is one of those uh, characters that's going to be following you throughout the entirety of the game. You can fight her, but it will be really one of those. It's not really necessary because it's not going to do much damage. It'll take a long time to defeat her. So I believe it's going to be one of those things where they're going to bring up sort of like how Ellie was in Biohazard slash Nemesis slash Mr. X and 2 and 3, which is fine, and then later on take on the main villain. So we don't know necessarily, once again, who the main villain is going to be. We don't know if that could be Chris also. Uh, Chris becoming a villain at the same time. We do not know if Chris is now going to kill Ethan, if he's hunting Ethan for his own gain, or hunting Mia and their child as well. So there's a lot of guessing of what's really going to happen in this game we also do not know if ethan is wanting to kill chris because of him possibly killing mia and their child we also do not know if chris is now with still with umbrella or he has created his own uh his own group of people which you do see in the trailer where he's going after uh ethan and mia and their child but we also do not know who is the main villain and this is really where i was making this video is who is the main villain because there will be two or three main villains with the witch we see um one of the other weskers in there possibly who was the female or is it going to be chris so it's really back and forth of who is the main villain unsure at this point we will probably be getting another trailer possibly in another month or so with uh diverging more information and more interviews as well letting on to know not give so much to the to the public but also give us a little bit more to chew on and digest on and also make our own thesis make our own suggestions of what's going to happen and possibilities of what we may want to happen and also give people more of an understanding of who ethan is since a lot of people did not care for his character in the last uh 
segment of Resident Evil, which I think it was okay by itself within my own reasons, as well as also I'm looking forward to see why are they also suggesting possible werewolves or werewolf lookalikes or vampires and also more zombies and other creatures that can be added possibly to the Resident Evil franchise with again within reason and also with the type of location that we are going to be in, which again looks like Transylvania, which I can't wait to see in gameplay be able to see more of exploring uh be able to uh find out what's going on be able to go up against these characters what kind of weapons we're going to be using are we going to be using any kind of silver weapons against these uh so-called werewolves or are we going to be having using holy relics against these so-called vampires we don't know if necessarily that this is part of a cult where they have to go through an initiation to become a so-called creature uh which we've seen in other games so and they've also been saying of course by millions of sources this is going to be the disgusting most bloodiest resident evil game that has been made which they are taking a huge step on due to past resident evil games has always been one of those very out of the box so to speak but at the same time they keep within reason but it's also wanting to go to that silent hill vibe to really between creepy slash suspenseful slash thriller slash horror so there is a lot of possible things that's going to happen within resident evil so who do you think is going to be the main villain i really like to know your guys thoughts in the comments down below once again if you guys are new to the channel consider leaving a big old like on the channel as well as subscribing for more resident evil videos as well as more content on the channel hope you guys are enjoying your day stay safe out there and i'll see you on the next one